When we read the small book of Ruth, we often gravitate to her example of diligence and loyalty. The focus seems to be on her, which is evident from the title of the book, as well as her prominence in the narrative. But is there more to it than this? Is there something else at work in the story of Ruth, Naomi, and Boaz from which we can learn about God's redeeming love in Christ? We see at the end of the book of Ruth, the focus is on David who will become the king of Israel and to whom God promised an everlasting kingdom. And what we also see is that Boaz became the redeemer for Naomi's family, and he was needed to fix two problems. A parcel of land had to be bought back or redeemed, and Ruth needed a husband. Boaz had to do some clever bargaining to redeem the land and marry Ruth, but he was successful and the story of Ruth ended happily. Ruth gave birth to a grandson for Naomi to preserve her family name. What's more is these people became the ancestors of Israel's great King David and of an even greater king, the king of the world, Jesus Christ. Check it out. This picture of Boaz's redemption of Naomi's land and marriage to Ruth points to the righteous king, Christ Jesus, who loves us and gave himself for us to redeem us from slavery to sin and death. You see, God's word reveals his love and goodness in providing his only son as our redeemer. Check out the words in verses 14 through 15. The women of the town said to Naomi, Praise the Lord who has now provided a redeemer for your family. May this child be famous in Israel. May he restore your youth and care for you in your old age. Boaz's loving actions toward Naomi and Ruth point to the love of God in Christ. God in his goodness, in his love, his righteousness, holiness, and mercy promised a redeemer and so loved the world that he gave his one and only son. When we read the story of Ruth, may we be immersed in the love on display because this is the redeeming love of God. And praise God that he has not left us without a redeemer, but has loved us and restored us to new life by faith in his son, our redeemer, Jesus Christ.